Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 16 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Got to give a quick shout out to my boy, Randy Olive, our team leader here at KW Platinum. It's his birthday today, so if you know Randy, send him a short message saying happy birthday. Um, today we are in opportunities, still continuing forward with that submenu, so the opportunities submenu. We've talked a lot about phases and stages. Yesterday we looked at custom checklists. Today we're actually going to create an opportunity. So we have a client, it's either a buyer or a seller, and we want to create an opportunity where we can track their activities. So we're just gonna come up to this button and click on create opportunity. From there, it's gonna choose your market center. If you're on a team or multiple teams, you could choose your team name here. And then the opportunity type, so it's either gonna be a listing or a buyer right now. So we have those two choices. Um, so if we had a listing, we could put in the client's name. Now this is actually gonna choose from our contacts that we have already created. So important to create the contact and then create the opportunity. I think here in the future, uh, we're gonna be able to actually just create the, op the client lead and then move them straight into opportunity. So that's exciting. Um, and yet we'll choose Mr. Seller who we've been working with for a while now. Here's the opportunity name. I can create that to be whatever I want. So it might be, um, seller listing one two three main street right I, you could choose the address you could choose the client's name you could put in whatever you want there obviously i would just make sure that you keep it consistent across all of your leads and all of your opportunities throughout the year um, expected close date if the listing just went live may or may not have that we can always update that as the opportunity grows um, commission rate anything with an asterisk obviously guys we know we have to put in so we're going to put in 3% because we love taking all of our commissions at 3% or better. Um, opportunity phase. So it might have been we've already gone on the listing appointment. It may be we're looking to schedule the listing appointment. It may be you know somewhere in that range. So let's put them at appointment. Let's say we're working on scheduling the lead. Let's say they are in Cypress, Texas. And then I can put it in the description here. And then I am the owner as the agent. So I would put in my, my name auto populates into here. So I can click on create opportunity. Now remember the phase is appointment, the stage is scheduling. So as soon as I click on create opportunity, it's gonna take me into the actual opportunity page where I'll have that information and we can start filling in any additional information that we need on this page. So we'll take a second and let it load and then we'll fill in the information from there. And nothing ever goes live wrong when you are recording videos. So let's go back to opportunities. And did it show up under appointments? And here it is. So it did show up under the actual listing here. Um, if we wanna click on these three little buttons, we can actually view the listing here. That was that screen that was attempting to load earlier. So not sure why it was taking its time to load, but we can go in here and actually see the opportunity screen from this page. And then obviously have a lot of opportunities for some things that are coming down the pipe with opportunities with regards to uploading documents, submitting offers for review, um, notes section, some things that we're gonna dive into deeper as well. So for right now, this is just the basics of how to create that opportunity and then you can actually see it in our opportunity pipeline here under listings. I've got it already put in. Again, I can always just click and drag if I get it scheduled. And then once I go on the appointment, I can click and drag to kept. Once we start getting into the active, I can drag it down here into active and then click on active and I'll see now it shows up in staging photography. And again, just kind of click and drag as I move it through um, the different transaction phases and stages that are available for it. So click and drag anytime I want to look at it again, I can just view the, it, the opportunity from the opportunity screen. All right guys, so that's the uh, quick and short video on how to create an opportunity within the opportunity sub menu and then how to move it from stage to stage and phase to phase. Day 16, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. Looking forward to a great weekend. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the morning.